Christmas shopping time. The time of the year that leaves you fucking skint. Yes, going to town now to get Sherelle some Christmas presents. Also my little brother, my little sister. And I'm leaving my ma to last because Sherelle's better at that stuff. So, Sherelle, brother, sister, done. Completio, completio, let's go. Currently fucking still, currently sitting in the house. Wait there, pause this fucking, pause. Currently sitting in the house, waiting on a parcel, getting delivered from Sherelle. I have a great idea of what it is. I think it's one of my Christmas presents. And then I'm gonna go and train. I bought a new pre-workout today in Shake Belfast. Here we are. Very, very, very potent apparently. It is for three scoops. Now you can take it in one scoop, two scoop, three scoops. It says here, a serving of it is three scoops. 600 milligram of caffeine. Fuck me, I train in the evenings normally, apart from the weekends. Apart from the one day in the weekend. As I take these scoops at around about 6pm at night, I ain't sleeping, mate. I ain't sleeping. Because caffeine, and if you didn't know, has a half-life of around about 6 to 7 hours. So 6 to 7 hours after you've had caffeine, only half of it is out of your system. The other half is still remaining. So I ain't fucking sleeping. If I take that in the evenings. I'll always know the update on this fucking parcel. The delivery geezer when he comes. He's meant to be here between half two and half three. So he's got 30 minutes to get here. Or oh, I'm coming for you mate. I'm coming for you DPD man. The DPD man's here. Alright mate how's it going? Hey. Been waiting for you all day. Thank you very man. much. Have a good day mate. Thank you. So the parcel has been delivered. Couldn't tell you what it is, but I'm pretty sure that it's one of my Christmas presents. Should we open it? Should we open it? Should we open it? No, she'll fucking kill me. I'm not going to open it. I'm not going to open it. It says fucking Puma on the box, so I didn't ask for no fucking Puma. Is this dark or not? Is this dark? How dark are we? I do look. We look alright. Are we alright, son? Here we go. Currently sitting outside the gym, and I'm gonna do a live taste test on the new pre rock at the bitch in the house. It's even that new, it's still got the fucking thing on it. Look. It still has the fucking wrapper on it, mate. In the name of God, this is fruit hella flavour. So I think it's meant to be a fruit teller. And I, if, if you're like me, I you love fruit tellers, and then this could be this could be the one. Here we go. Ooh, mm, it smells lovely. The geezer in the shop says recommended dose is one scoop. But you can't take three scoops of this here. It has a breakdown of three scoops. It says in the back three scoops. It is, but there's 600 milligrams of caffeine in one scoop. There is no fucking way I'm doing three scoops, but we'll do two scoops. And we've got the fucking, like, art attack. They're right enough amount of water in here to do three scoops. No, two scoops. So we'll do two scoops. We'll do one, and we'll go for two. Two scoops. Because who the fuck single scoops anything now? There's no fuck. Holy shit. The dust. I already tasted it there. Quick wee shake. Lock this back up in case it fucking falls everywhere and I just wasted fucking 30 quid. Gone. That would fucking piss me clean off. Right. Taste test. That is Frutella, mate. That is as if someone has blended up Frutella sweets and just fucking let you, just let you drink it. That is, that is the nicest tasting pre-workout I've ever had in my life. Holy fuck, mate. Gone are the days where pre-workers were sour and shit to take. Mm, upper body B today. Let's try and get some footage. That was lovely. Unbelievable, man. I'll see you in the gym. In the gym. Kurt, check this out. What the fuck is this? In the name of... Fuck. 
don't ever use protectors to squat with. It's fucking gay, mate. So this seems to be quite popular within the whole YouTube community fitness culture fucking business. What's inside your gym bag? So how about I take you through what's inside my gym bag? I'm doing this in one take. So if there's any mistakes, there's mistakes. I try to do all my fucking filming in one take. So we're gonna go for one, that's a lot of me saying one take. I'll just finish training. So I'll take you through this. You might gain something from it, you might not. This is what you might carry yourself in your gym bag, but this is what I carry. And if you wanna take anything away from it, feel free to. Here we go. So the first thing, first things first, what I, what, what is in the gym bag? A standard weightlifting belt for either heavy squats and heavy deadlifts. That has tend to be the only time that I would use the weightlifting belt as in like heavy singles. I try and not use it for anything more than singles, but if I do you if I do need to, I use it. So just your standard normal weightlifting belt. I think I got this from Strength Shop for about 75 pounds about fucking six years ago or so. That and a couple of items is weightlifting straps. Just normal standard, just normal standard straps from bulk powders. I think I got them free with an order a few years back. I tend to use these with heavy, like heavy RDLs or lap pulldowns. Basically I use, near enough, Nine times out of ten, I'll use these for back exercises. I try and not use them for deadlifts because surely the Sherlock says lift, deadlifting with straps is gay, so we don't do it. Even the wedding hall does it. Wrist wraps I tend to use these for pushing movements, either bench press, shoulder press, dumbbell press. Um, Yes, pressing movements. These are also from Strength Shop. I think these were around 35 pounds or so. But I would suggest that if you do get a pair of these, get yourself a good pair and go a bit more expensive because the cheaper ones are really flimsy and shit. I think I've got another set in here. A flimsy set. Yeah, good. Let me see the difference. So they're the flimsy ones, look. And then these are the good ones. There's a lot more, a lot more protection and a lot more, like, they're a lot more stable around your wrist compared to these wee cheap ones. But if this is all you can afford, these will do the job. If you can, get yourself a good set. Standard notebook. From the start of this program, I've been taking notes for the workouts. So just a notebook, write down your weights and beat your next weights in the next week, basically. So I would highly recommend you get yourself a notebook and a fucking pen, because you might be able to write nothing in a notebook if you don't have a pen, will it? A lacrosse ball. Now this is something that I've actually started doing more often. These lacrosse balls are fucking great. I reckon these are actually better than foam rollers. So if you don't have one of these, get one. They're on my protein for very, they're very, very cheap, about 3 99 I am telling you, these are fucking fantastic for when you are warming up or prepping yourself for like a squat or a deadlift. Also very good to get into those little spots that a foam roller can't do in your back and your legs. But be careful, these fucking hurt when you're using them. If you don't know how to use them, go and research it on fucking on YouTube uh, or on Google. There's plenty of articles out there on how to use these. And just far away and see how you get on. Set of wireless headphones, and I've also got backup wired headphones when these run out of battery, because I'm a fucking dickhead to remember to try and keep these recorded. So wireless headphones and backup wired headphones. Normally I would have gym clothing in it, but sure I'm wearing the gym clothing because I tend to train after I've been to work. So there'd be gym clothing in there as well. And a pre-workout, which is in the car because I never put it back in the bag on a pre-workout. And that's it. Hopefully you've gained something from this. If not, I'm sorry. But that is what's inside my gym bag. And that is six minutes long. Holy bejesus. See you soon. Go into the gym in daylight. And come back out again. And it's fucking pitch black, mate. What the 
the fuck's going on? I don't like a winter. It's not nice. Yep, it's happening. McDonald's run. I just, I just really wish you would clean your fucking corroded car. <laughs> it smells like pure marijuana. Why does it smell like marijuana? I don't know. I really don't. It's flipping stinking. Hello. <laughs> I'm getting soaked, man. Hello. I'm getting drenched. Yes, can I get a, do you want a meal? Yeah. Can I get the classic signature collection meal, please? Yeah, what drink? What drink? Coke Zero? No, just a, um, Coke yeah, yeah. A what? Yeah, Coke Zero. Coke no Zero, ice. yeah. No Anything ice. Anything else? No ice in the Coke Zero, please. No tomato yeah. on the burger. And no tomato in the burger, please. Yeah, no worries, there's no tomato on it. Uh, and then can I get a classic burger by itself? Yeah. Uh, and a plain chicken legend. By itself, please. Yep. You want anything cheese else? Melts. And a portion of cheese melts? Yeah. And that's everything, thank you. You're welcome, thank you. Thank you, bye. Bye. I'm <coughs> fucking, oh. I'm <laughs> fucking drenched, mate. Our Sandra! No. <laughs> fucking brilliant, mate. They just love each other so much! Yo, what the fuck's a crack everyone? I've just finished deadlifting there. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, you won't know where I just deadlifted because it's on my Instagram! Go follow me! It's potentially the best fucking Instagram page in the world! I've got my Christmas due tonight, so I potentially might not even ever pick this camera up again until Monday morning Because if you haven't seen me hungover, I am useless to All fuckers. I am can't do I can't do hangovers. I am petrified of hangovers mate. Petrified Stinking mate, so I'll probably not be right again to Monday, but on fucking in other news I have got Monday off work, so I will be vlogging again on Monday Aren't you lucky if I don't see you through the week I'll see you on Monday. I'm gonna get fucking steaming! See you later! So I only managed to get one bit of footage, fucking batteries on the blink here. I didn't want fucking, don't even know if it'll last this clip. Three day hangover in the name of fuck, it's now Tuesday, the last time I seen you was fucking Saturday I believe. It's now Tuesday people. Three days to get over a hangover. It's not normal, not fucking normal. It's safe to say that I have retired from drinking alcohol. I've hung the pint glass up and I will never, and I repeat this, I will never get drunk again in my life, ever. It's not worth it. Honest to fucking God. I'm only 28 and it's taken me three days to get over a hangover. Three fucking days. Gone in the days I can go into a three day bender. Heaven forbid what state I would be in now if I went and did a three day bender right now. I could have rang in work as sick this morning. Could have rang in to work as sick this morning, but I was like, stop being a wee bitch and you go to work. Three day hangover. Woo! But I'm gonna leave the video here. Smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you already subscribed. If you're not going to take, if you're only going to take one thing away from this video, that would be Don't ever fucking get so drunk you can't remember what you did because hangovers are not worth it But I'll see you in the next video God bless you all I love you all See you soon